presence. Now let's do one together. What is vibing? This is Vish, and this video will be talking about honest thoughts about Hare Krishna, or the Hare Krishna Bhakti movement, if that's an appropriate term. And this is gonna be an interesting one, because I wanna keep it fully transparent and share what I've learned, whether it's realizations on the journey so far, and the experience that I had today, which was very, very interesting, to say the least. So, I happened to, uh, I was filming at Zilker Park. Uh, it's a beautiful park in Austin, Texas. And as I was filming, I was doing some interviews, and I happened to run into a Hare Krishna uh, monk in training, let's call him that. And as I basically got to uh, talk to him and interview him as well, I had this idea, I was like, wait, this would be great to have him on this Sadhguru Reaction channel. I'm sure you've seen that. Most of the videos I do are Sadhguru Reaction videos. And so I was like, would love to have you on. He said, yeah, that'd be great. And so we messaged each other and then eventually uh, he even mentioned that his Guruji, or I think his name is Guru Dev, that is, uh, would be a part of it instead. And that he's a lot more of, uh, let's just say, experience to provide valuable <clears throat> or provide more of like a a proper reflection uh, for this video and I said yeah that'd be great I mean it'd be cool uh, meeting the guru uh, or the spiritual master as he calls him and so we planned to meet today and uh, end up going there and I was very grateful because I was a little late so very much appreciate their patience and and out comes and this is again I'm keeping this fully transparent so there's no censoring or nothing here but basically, out comes the, the Guruji, and I'd assume for some reasons, because I first saw the, the lady, uh, she was an older Indian lady, and, you know, how they greet each other is all Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. It's very interesting. Uh, and so, I mean, in a way, beautiful too. But anyways, I saw her, so I assumed it would be like this other old Indian kind of uh, man. But it was like an older, white, uh, American individual. Not that this even matters too much, but it was just more out of, again, I'm just sharing the experience as I present this realization to you. So, out comes he, and then we're just kind of briefly talking. He's a little older, so it was definitely interesting. I wasn't expecting, uh, not even just expecting, but I wasn't really, this is the first time I was getting to meet like a quote-unquote spiritual master in person. So there's definitely a little intimidation present, full transparency. And so he's also tall and a little bigger of a gentleman. So I was definitely a little intimidated, full transparency. And uh, because he couldn't hear too well, the mind was a little not too sure, I guess uneasy, maybe is the optimal word to use for this. But again, this is purely out of I'm expressing uh, full transparency. And it really wasn't that much. It's just a tidbit of quote unquote unconsciousness, right? So out comes him, and then we're, you know, kind of setting things up, and then, uh, give me a quick second, I'm just going to wipe the nose. Appreciate the patience as well as the presence. <laughs> and so, basically, what ended up happening was, after setting up, Another interesting thing was I definitely wanted his face to be a part of the camera because it would be nice. And up until now, I mean, I'm vaccinated. Everyone's vaccinated. Most of the people have been pretty open uh, and uh, not really caring too much about it. But he is an older gentleman, so I do understand. So they're very strict about wanting, to, wanting me to be social distance, which I ended up doing as well as wearing a mask. So stay tuned for the video of that, which will be coming out soon. But with that being said, uh, basically... Interesting, I keep saying basically, and that is an interesting catch. So I had this all set up and then wasn't sure what to expect, really. Really not sure what to expect. Going to be, let me find that. Yeah, I wanna quickly just <laughs> get the nose uh, all tidied up again. And, uh, for those of you wondering what I was doing, I'm just, I was rubbing it on, on a piece of cloth. But, appreciate your patience and presence again. <laughs> so, 
Again, not sure what to expect. First time doing it with a spiritual master. Not to say he's not. The quotes are just, you know, to uh, put that into perspective. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect. Not really sure what to expect. Uh, yeah, I think this will be an interesting video. I would love to see what you all think when it comes out. So we get situated. We're... <laughs> I got allergies, it's interesting. Spiritual practice, but anyways. Uh, it was actually spiritual practice, the whole setting up thing too. Another interesting quick thing was the ground was filled with ants. And uh, since I was kind of sitting a little far away and kind of on the ground, that was also spiritual practice. And uh, I just didn't give attention to it. I mean, it is what it is, right, literally. So I was fully present and then I played this video on Krishna to Gurudev and uh, it was very interesting, very interesting. I mean, regardless of me getting into the details, I wanted to first truly thank him for the time, uh, for the presence, for the energy, and even for, excuse me, the uh, the monk and training friend uh, who was able to bring me to the place and, and show me the whole thing. And excuse me, I want to be <laughs> burping again. There we go. And uh, yeah, anyways, long story short, very grateful for them. But now this was interesting, and the mind for some reason, I don't, you know, you, know, you know how the mind works, right? It'll make up all these scenarios, whatever, but for some reason it kind of assumed he would be super like, wow, like, oh, I connected with the guru and, and so on. But interestingly, right after, I mean, I'll have to give him uh, fully credit. He was very present throughout the whole video. Like he continued to watch it uh, without any sort of distraction per se, or like, oh, stop it, nothing. He was fully attentive, which is a beautiful thing. But then he openly expressed how he disagreed with, uh, essentially disagreed with the whole thing uh, of what Sadhguru is talking about with regards to Hare Krishna. Uh, not even just Hare Krishna, but Krishna himself, right? And, and essentially what they talk about the, the Hare Krishna uh, people and uh, the movement is how it's Krishna is everything. It's the, the Krishna consciousness that is. It's literally, I mean, consciousness is technically in everything, right? So... It was very interesting and uh, full transparency. He seemed a little closed-minded because he openly was talking about how all these gurus and yogis are just uh, bogus. That's exactly what he said. And uh, he was a little more harsher from a few other things he said, which, uh, I mean, it's not the point, but he didn't seem too open-minded to me. And that is a full transparent truth. Now, this doesn't mean that the whole Hare Krishna movement is not open-minded, right? Maybe there's others. In fact, there's a Hare Krishna... I think he was like some guru himself who actually did an interview with Sadhguru himself. So, yeah, I'm not trying to generalize. I'm just sharing this out of experience. But it, it did seem a bit more close-minded because he was denouncing essentially all the other paths, which, as I've realized, there's actually, it's very interesting. There's these four paths, which, let me quickly pull up. And I appreciate your patience and presence as I, as I do this. So as I've learned from Sadhguru himself, there's actually four paths towards, quote-unquote, liberation. That is karma, kriya, I think it's jnana or gnana, and bhakti. Bhakti is essentially this whole path of Hare Krishna. There's essentially other paths as well, but it's devotion, really, right? And it's very interesting because the, uh, the older lady afterwards told me how devotion is the only way. And essentially this whole Hare Krishna movement is the only way and the only thing. Now, here's the interesting thing. I don't think it's not something that will work. I think it'll definitely work if you if you give yourself fully to it, right? And fully devote. I think it'll definitely, definitely help with liberation, as they say. However, I don't think it's the only, only thing. And I think that is very significant and very important uh, because it's all about being open-minded. I mean, it's, it's interesting because even with the quote-unquote conscious organization, I mean, it's called Krishna consciousness. That's a huge term that's used. It doesn't seem as open to the other pathways. And again, I'm not generalizing. It's just what I've heard from this specific uh, branch here out here in, in, in Texas. And uh, maybe the views of these people I've met don't represent the whole Hare Krishna movement. So, yeah, to keep it simple, it was interesting. And it was a beautiful spiritual practice because as they were essentially pouring this whole kind of influx of... of quote unquote wisdom on me uh, and how this is the truth, I was just present. And I did ask a few conscious questions here and there, just out of curiosity, not out of defense. And although there was a lot of criticism to our Sadhguru, which I mean, as you'd probably know, I, I definitely do a lot of his followings and practice a lot of his stuff. And 
I'm very connected to him, not attached, very connected. Uh, I did not get defensive. I just asked a few questions and I was like, thank you so much. I mean, the kindness is really felt. I mean, uh, the, the spiritual master himself was able to provide a full garland on me, which was just incredibly nice of him. So kindness and the love and even the path I think is, is beautiful. And I think it's definitely one that will work. I just don't think it's the only one. And so that's pretty much all that I had to share with you. Uh, it's all about being open-minded with all the paths. So it's, I guess, the quick summary of the realization I, I had from this is that there can be, quote unquote, paths that don't work. I'm not gonna say wrong, but let's just say wrong paths for now. Uh, there can be wrong paths or paths that don't work, uh, but there isn't necessarily one single path that will work. There's multiple as well. There can be multiple wrong, but there's also multiple right or the ones that will work. So. That's pretty much all that to share. It was a beautiful experience regardless. I appreciate you taking the time. And with that, make it a great day. Take it joyfully. If you have any other video requests, comment that down below. And also comment down what you're grateful for and how you feel in this present moment. Also down below. Stay conscious. Ecstasy.